Hi, my name is Miss Richardson and I'm a consultant at the Western Eye Hospital, which is a large teaching hospital, part of Imperial Healthcare Trust. I work there for seven years and uh, I also specialise in medical retina and general ophthalmology. You've got to be very careful about what is a sty and what is a chalasium, because you'll look this up and you'll see, have I got a sty or have I got a chalasium? A sty is on the outside of the lid. The chalasia is on the inside and the first sign might be that you wake up and it just feels really painful really tender just in one spot and then when you press on it it will be more painful and sometimes it starts to get red and sometimes you start to get pus coming out so is it does it really matter whether it's a sty or a chalasia yes it probably does because the styes are more likely just to clear up on the own on their own with time, not just burst, whereas the collagen can uh, lead to a lump that stays there for quite some time. A sty or a collagen can cause vision problems because if it's on your upper lid, it's much more likely to do it because what it does is it presses down slightly and gives the cornea kind of a warp shape. The cornea is the clear part of your eye. And so the vision can just be a little bit out of focus on that eye. Um, it's much less likely on the bottom. Now, it's kind of not important in adults, but in children, um, you've got to be careful about it um, affecting the vision for too long. So for each month of your life, you're allowed to have uh, one week of, a, of a, a pressing on your eye to distort the vision. Again, as a mother, don't get concerned about it because even so, there's things we can do. And, and when the sty is removed or the clay is removed, the vision will come back to normal. Styes actually and collations can, can actually be brought on by stress. Now, why do we think this happens? Probably because when we're stressed, there's things that happen. First of all, we might start crying more. We might start rubbing our eyes. We're not getting enough sleep. And when that happens, the eyelids, which produce this kind of an oil, instead of producing an oil, they produce a wax and that gets stuck at the orifice of the gland. And so therefore it then forms the sty or the collation. And probably there's also hormonal things in us, us, our cortisol levels go up. So all these things will contribute you to getting a sty. In fact, the people that I see who have a sty or a on the most tend to be people who are working too many hours, um, nurse, mothers who are nursing a baby, um, uh, young mothers, and um, also anaesthetists. So a lot of my anaesthetists come to me with sty because they've been up all night. Uh, so your eyes are drying out. So in general, it is definitely stress, stress related. The good news is styes are not contagious. You th might think they are. They will exude bacteria, but as long as you wash your hands afterwards, you're not going to pass it on. You can't give that condition to your baby or to your friends. It's not the case. It's like you wouldn't give them a spot. It's exactly the same as a spot, except for it's in your eyelid. So a sty, if it's left onto its own devices, if you're lucky, can heal quite quickly. Sometimes it can take up to six weeks, even longer. But a chalasian can go on for months, even six to months to a year, just because it seals up and then can't get out. So you can tell the difference between a sty and a chalasian because a sty will quickly get better because this pus gets out, but they can, they can go on for quite some time and they can be very unpleasant looking. Well, you, can, you could get a sty or a chalasian can get mixed up with something else. And this is incredibly rare. So if you have a chalasian or a sty, a lot of the time your worry is that, oh my God, have I got cancer on my eyelid? And the answer is highly unlikely. It's very, very easy for the eye surgeon to determine whether this is a type of cancer. Because when you Google things like this, what comes up is like, oh, it could be sebaceous cell carcinoma of the eyelid. It's A, that's incredibly rare. And you, the doctor can find out straight away. And then usually with those cases, you don't have a lot of pus and pain. But um, they, don't, they tend to just stay as they are.